I'll never be able to forget the time when I was training for a diving expedition. I was attacked by several large sea creatures. They had been toying with me for a while, like I was some part of a game. This was the first time I'd ever seen anything like this before, as I'd only been diving for roughly six months. I had very recently started training in a new site and was in total awe of how beautiful everything looked. The water, crystal clear, and it almost felt like you were flying down below, watching the fish swim every so often, even turtles grazing around. Those first few dives were magical, and I really felt a sense of being lucky to be able to see this underwater heaven. Since then, however, I have been seeing some ominous shadows swimming along beside me, even when I'm down there, and they come out of nowhere. You have specific training requirements for those special expeditions, and you need so many hours of practice and depth of diving. I was enjoying it so much, though, that I was down there as often as possible. It felt like another world, and I was diving alone. Although, I was always careful to tell someone where I was going and when. That would save my life later. To start with, I thought I was just imagining the shadows. Things are very different underwater, and it can really mess with your perception. When I realized I wasn't making them up, again, I just assumed there was a large fish down there with me. I was quite intrigued. Maybe it was playing hide-and-go-seek, Maybe it was just intelligent. But the more frequently I saw the shadows, the more menacing they felt. I was trying to fool them, to catch them, to discover what was making them. But they were always too fast. They seemed to just disappear. And then one day, they make themselves known. There seemed to be more shadows than usual that day, and I almost know that they were going to reveal themselves, but darn... I could have never been ready. Those creatures were nothing like I'd ever seen before. For starters, they were huge, almost as big as me, although very slender and nearly flat like a ray. It sounds crazy, but the best way I can describe them would be if you threw every sea creature you can think of into a pot and mix it all up. This is what you'd get. They had bits and parts of all sorts of marine life going on, but... The things that I was most aware of were their multiple heads, and most specifically their mouths and teeth. Despite the smorgasbord of fins and tentacles going on underneath the head, that was the most important factor, as these things were terrifying, like something from a sci-fi movie. They looked more alien life than sea life, and they had huge wide mouths with rows of tiny serrated teeth. That seemed to be the only positive thing right then. Although, there were many teeth. They didn't look like sharp protruding fangs like sharks have. There were four or five of them. And I couldn't tell for sure because they were constantly moving around me, circling me like a shark would. Their strange, long, flat bodies with too many fins and tentacles. And their too big for body, huge heads with wide black orbs for eyes just staring at me as they swam around and around, stirring up all sorts of debris and making the water murky. I wasn't sure if they were playing with me, taunting me, or just wanting to rip me to pieces. I kept trying to break through the circle, but they were too quick. It was like they formed a constant ring around me that I was unable to escape from. I was desperate by then, the pain barely registering as they seemed to sting me, kind of adding that jellyfish into the mix of creatures they were made up of and make tiny rips in my arms with their teeth. I just remember thinking that if they didn't kill me, the blood from my wounds alone was bound to attract a shark sooner rather than later. Still, I kept fighting and suddenly they fled. They fled so fast the water was completely churned up by the speed of their retreat and for a few moments, I wasn't able to see or do anything. I was dazed and injured. And then, I saw the most wonderful thing. Another diver. Turned out, 
I had been down there way longer than I should have, and one of my buddies who had been keeping an eye on me returned. He had been worried and came to find me. It was typical that all he had seen was the tail end of the attack, which was enough for him to know something bad had happened. Shortly after he had gotten me back to land, I must have passed out from the pain as I awoke in a hospital. Of course, I had numerous stings and bites, but it was assumed that I had somehow swam into a school of jellyfish, and the stings made me delirious. Although, the doctors couldn't explain the strange bite marks and everything else. When I tried to tell them about these creatures, they thought I had some sort of hallucination, a reaction brought on by the poison and toxin of the jellyfish. It can happen sometimes. Oxygen levels being so far down, it can make people go mad. I know that. I get that. But that's not what happened. I wasn't at the bottom of the ocean or anything. My oxygen tanks were fine, and the water being very clear. I know what I saw. I just don't understand what they were or how they existed. I'm not allowed to dive again right now. I have to be fully fit to pass a psyche valve before they let me go down again. But I'm going to go back as soon as I can. For now, I'm happy to lie. To say, oh yeah, I must have imagined that if it means I can get back down there and face them again. A lot of people might not have the nerve. I mean, I wouldn't blame them if they couldn't even take a bath anymore. But not I. I want to go back out. I kind of want to see them. And this time, I'll be ready to face them. People need to know to believe that there aren't just things living in the woods, the mountains, or in outer space. There are things in the sea that we don't know squat about, and they are very dangerous. One time, when scuba diving, we found this large underwater cave system that we decided to explore. As soon as we went inside, we realized that it was not exactly a natural rock formation, but instead, some kind of underwater structure. At the time, I had no idea what it could have been, or how long ago it might have been built. It is hard to even guess at how far down we were before we found this huge place underneath the waves. The three of us and the team swam around for a while, then stopped in an area that looked like a sizable rock. The ceiling went up about 20 feet above our heads, with fairly large arches between each supporting pillar. These pillars were also roughly 20 feet apart. Lost in complete shock of this discovery of an old ancient structure, we saw what looked like paintings on the walls. Strange, scary pictures. Crude, actually, but very primitive. Not actual paintings, of course, but... Like I said, they were drawings of some kind, etched into the rock. As we looked more closely at all the pictures, they seemed to be telling some sort of story. Although, the imagery depicted was very crude and worn away. They looked strange, like almost mermaid-like creature drawings, but anyway, that's probably besides the point. For some reason, maybe because I'm a horror movie fan, I was drawn to these and staring intently at them, thinking we had made some sort of discovery. I saw my buddies frantically gesturing at me, both looking somewhat alarmed. In fact, before I could even turn and see what they were trying to warn me about, one of them panicked and swam off. And my first thought was shark, even though we knew this particular stretch of water wasn't exactly safe, because what else was going to evoke that sort of alarm? I turned around real slow, not wanting to spook whatever this thing was into an attack mode. And then I saw it, and understood why one of my buddies had fled. The creature I saw was the same creature now that I believed to have been depicted in these crude drawings. It looked to be half human, but also half fish. I know that sounds silly, but if there was some sort of mermaid-like creature, this was it. I'm not trying to paint you a Disney fantasy picture here. This wasn't a half-woman, half-fish with seashells over her breasts and long flowing hair. 
This was a hideous creature. It had the back tail of a fish, but the front end was very reptilian looking, disgusting, with long human-like arms covered in scales. I stared at this thing in awe and terror at the same time, desperately trying to come up with a scenario and idea in my head of what this thing was. But of course, it was swimming towards me and reaching its arms out in my direction. Now, as it began reaching its arms out towards me, I began to flee in terror, not knowing what this thing was. And as I looked back, I could see it keeping up with me. And not only that, but there were shadows moving behind it. And again, to my terror, realized there were more of these things, smaller and some bigger in size, but the same premise. From the waist down was very fish-like, but from the waist up was more amphibious or reptilian. The head actually reminded me of a mesosaur, kind of like that dinosaur, if you know what that is. As if I had just stumbled upon the den or the home of some underwater half-fish, half-reptile creature, I don't even know. But they were swimming after us very fast, and I nearly got out of there. Luckily, we weren't too far into the structure, and I was able to make it out. These things never swam past us, past the entryway. And after some more coral reef exploring, well, I call it exploring, but what it really was is just us trying to find our way back to the point in which we started, and we all regrouped. We were roughly 72 meters below the surface of the water. So, after a couple of decompression stops, we made our way back to the surface, and that was the end of that diving experience. By the way, for more specifics, this was off the coast of Costa Rica. I couldn't tell you exactly how many miles of the coast, but it was south. And this occurred back in 1999 with a small dive team of friends. I've done many diving since, but have never had anything this strange. In fact, this is a story I really don't tell a lot of people. With the details, you could probably imagine why. And I've yet to find any depiction, illustration, or anything that could accurately paint exactly what these strange creatures looked like. Maybe they were a creation lost by evolution in time. Perhaps they were some sacred ancient race. I don't know. As far as the structure goes, I have no idea. It looked to be ancient, like at some point in that little pocket of space by the coral reef, there was probably no water there at some point. You can believe me if you want to, or disbelieve me, I really don't care. But I thought you'd find my story at least interesting, since you seem to be the go-to guy covering strange happenings and cryptids and monsters. Well, that was my own story. And sometimes, even now, I could still be leery going too deep in diving.